First up right now, a new for you at 530. It's going to be a mess, but they do a good job. I'm Connecticut's largest agricultural fair kicks off in less than 24 hours now. Yes, the Durham Fair draws huge crowds and traffic to the tiny town every year, but there are some changes coming this year. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Denise DeCenzo. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Zinni, Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hogan. He is live with the Mobile Newsroom right now at the fair entry with some reaction to these changes this year for us. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Mark. Hi, Denise. You know, locals will tell you it appears the Durham Fair gets bigger and bigger every year, more crowds. But local town officials say their focus is on public safety. That's their primary focus and keeping traffic moving and the guests happy as they search for the public parking spots. Judy House is ready to park guests onto her corner lot as they head to the 100th edition of the Durham Fair. The state's largest agricultural fair attracts upwards of 200,000 people during its four-day run, putting a strain on Route 17, also known as Main Street, where southbound traffic won't be allowed now to turn onto Judy's Lot to park. So it, it makes it difficult for the people who want to get here. Uh, is it confusing, do you think? Um, I think for people who, who don't know it, yeah. Traffic will flow north and south on 17, but only one way on Fowler and southbound on Cherry. Oh my goodness, horrible, horrible. It never was as bad as being the last four years. First selectman Laura Francis tells me it's all about public safety, especially near the fairgrounds access points. Every year we do make some changes and tweaks depending on the experience of the year before. Maple Avenue, where Corey Ross and her family live, gets hectic at fair time. It's going to be a mess, but they do a good job. They, you know, they, they have police officers all over the place taking care of everyone, you know, trying to ease it. Then we have a lot of state troopers to, to guide the uh, traffic. And, it's, and, you know, so it, it does become fun. So the town is all set. The state troopers, they're all set. And tomorrow, the detour signs will go up in the afternoon. The gates open at 4. And, Mark, there's no ice cream yet. Live with the Mobile Newsroom in Durham, <laughs> Kevin Hogan, Channel 3. Oh, there News. will be this weekend, Kevin.